Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. Hey, so what I want to talk about today is some research I've been studying, and it's on GMOs and what GMOs are. And I actually have my notes here today to go over this and review how I feel about GMOs. Now, main reason why it, it this is disturbing to me, it bothers me, is because of I love to eat. I love food. I love, you know, trying new food and, you know, food is life. But, you know, I've been cutting back on certain things now that I've been learning and, and um, getting more research uh, of things that is what is in our food. So I wanted to tell a lot of you what is actually in our food and what is GMOs because I know there's still a lot of people out there who don't understand or even know what it is. So let me start off by reading my notes and tell you, okay, genetically modified organisms okay that's what GMO stands for GMOs are plants or animals that have been genetically engineered with DNA from bacteria viruses or other plants okay now okay doesn't sound too bad but let me read the rest of what I've got scientists remove one or more genes from the DNA of another organism such as a bacterium virus or animal and recombine them into the DNA of a plant or other organism that they would like to alter by adding these new genes the engineers hope that the plant will express the traits associated with the gene so it's basically genetically engineered plant breeding <laughs> so that's what they are. So now the issue with this is that they're taking different things. Now, one of the real issues is is they're saying that there's a lot of health benefits and a lot of um, uh, hypotheses saying that, oh, modifying the food is going to be great for us. Well, come to find out that it's not. It's terrible what they're doing. Um, basically what it is is when they start injecting all this stuff into it is they basically only have the plants to live longer uh, from they they don't want the plants to die from being sprayed with pesticides and herbicides. Now the issue is that once the pesticides and herbicides are sprayed over these modified uh, engineered food, it absorbs in the the chemicals and destroys the health benefits and creates uh, plant disease, crop disease because you know it's changing the structure of you know, the soil with all these chemicals and stuff. So what happens is it absorbs it and creates its own form of pesticides. Now, the issue with this is, is that once the the plant absorbs it, it creates its pesticides. If an insect eats on it, it rips the uh, insect's stomach open. Now, okay, so it kills the insect. All right, all right, sounds good. Not, <laughs> it's not good because now what's inside that plant is, is still the uh, pesticides and herbicides and it's the Roundup, Roundup spray that you can use around your house and you know they have all these warning labels based upon Roundup and how deadly it is. So now this is inside the plant. Well, guess what? They're not getting it outside of the plant. Actually, like I said, the nutrition values in the plant is dead. But what's still living is the... Uh, um, the pesticides that it created inside the plant. Now, that gets cut off and shipped to us and put on our plate. Now, we're consuming this. Now, the problem is it's just like the bug. Well, it rips this bug's stomach open. It rips it completely open. Now, what does it do to us? It does the same thing. It rips our stomach open. We have leaky gut. We have all these different symptoms of what is happening to probably to the bug is happening to us over time and it's just getting worse you know there's a lot of side effects and actually i'm going to read you off some of the side effects that are uh attached with this so if you have any of these side effects please look it up please try to find something that that uh, um can help you get rid of this and you know understand a little bit more about where the, your issues are coming from so here are some of the side effects of consuming gmos so it's well first of all it's linked to cancer it's linked to parkinson's uh bowel disease chrome's disease uh irritable bowel syndromes 
foggy brain, which means you can't really think and process constipation, and uh, preatitis. Preatitis is P E R I T O N I T I S. So look that up. <laughs> um, also, uh, gastrointestinal disease, um, uh, immune system failure. Uh, Autoimmune disease, allergies, uh, autism, dang, <laughs> eczema, and other skin problems. Also, it puts weight on top of you as well. Now, the last ones I just read off, uh, starting from gastrointestinal disease, once people stop eating so much GMO-based foods, they uh, saw a difference. They didn't have to deal with these. They saw actually... Uh, um, Increase of their immune system. Everything started coming back. Things start becoming normal. But the problem with this is that it's in 80% of the crops in North America. Gen genetically modified the crops. 80%. Now, that's just ridiculous. Now, and the issue is, is really is that not trying to label this and put this on the foods. Uh, Barack Obama has actually signed in uh, the fact that they don't need to label what we're consuming, especially when it comes to GMOs. And they know if it's labeled, they know that people will turn away from GMOs. They won't be able to make any money. All their, all The whole thing for the higher-ups is to make more money. That's their job. And, hey, everybody's trying to make more money, but not at the uh, risk of somebody losing their lives and having issues their whole entire life. And, you know, they are fighting against it to not have labels. You know, it's a label. So... It's a real big issue when, you know, you try to live life and you want to just be basic. What There's no simple tea in life anymore. Now you can't even eat any foods. And these are foods inside of your the grocery store that we're consuming, which is worse. Because now, you know what I'm saying, you cut away from the fast food. Now you got to worry about the food inside the grocery store that you're trying to purchase. And it's also a lot in your meats. Um, one big issue, I remember as I was a kid growing up... Uh, it was always drink milk, drink milk, drink milk, and I hated milk. Well, now I'm finding out that, you know, first of all, you don't really even need to consume all this dairy. We get our vitamin D from the sun. You know, we get all the nutrients we need from plants and other things that we eat. We don't have to drink milk. And what's the real issue is that the cows are producing too much milk to where the fact that they got um, mucus coming in, in the milk. And, you know, you have all these diseases. And... 355,000 people die every year from pesticide poisoning. That That's ridiculous because that's from consuming the, the animals because they're putting antibiotics inside the animal's feed. And now the animals are eating it. Now guess what we're doing? We're consuming them. So now we need to find... Now we're dealing with all these situations where we can't even buy a steak or ground beef or, you know, chicken. And, you know... That bother, that's like that's that sucks because a lot of people like to eat that stuff. Imagine if you have a paleo diet and that's what you want to eat. You not eating any bread or something, but you, now you still have to worry the risk of that. So now there's certain diets that are uh, um, are affected by this, and you know it's just it, it's a problem all around. Let me see what else I got. Um, also, with the cows, they're putting these bovine growth hormones inside the food when these animals are eating this stuff they say you are what you eat well guess what if you eat the cow some people are gonna say you're a cow well if the cow is eating the feed that has poison toxins and all these diseases overwhelmed inside their feed now we eat them now we become just like the cow now we're eating all of these poison toxins and it's messing up our bodies and definitely our immune system so you know there's a lot of ways you know you 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 have to find ways to eat food that is way that is more healthy for you and fight against this stuff you know what i'm saying because your children are at risk you know children are growing getting autism it's it's to the point where they say it's a one in 26 it's it's gotten that bad to where it's one in every 26 children are getting uh autism and then you have all these uh birth defects and stillbirths from this food because when you eat gmo food it stays in your track especially if you're a pregnant woman and you know how a pregnant women want to eat everything well now they're eating this food well it gets inside into the baby now it's messing up the baby before it even gets here so 
you know, really look at your food, really look at what's going on. Um, I guess there's the ways that we can fix this is learning more about GMOs. I'm definitely going to have a lot of this information on my page, uh, the healthful wealth. So you can look this stuff up. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to get deep into it, I'll have some links to some great websites I found about this. So, I'm telling you, man, learn about what's in your food because it's terrible, man. It's it's really killing a lot of people. It's it's creating things that we don't have, and they know about it. And the real one of the issues is is that a lot of people are studying outside of the the biotech, basically the the company that's creating this stuff. But they need to have permission or else they will cancel out the research and the findings. And everybody knows all over that the GMOs is is ruining people in so many ways and the roundup and the pesticides and herbicides that they're spraying they're spraying 10 times as much now than they all than they were before so in any i would say this it's 10 times as much to me because anytime you're doing more than what you were before at the seven percent rate now now it's grown to seven percent it's worse. Anything is worse because now we're feeling the effects of it. The uh, farmers and people around it are really feeling the effects of it. And guess what? It also transfers over to other plants. So now say, it, for instance, you have a one side that is doesn't have any GMOs in it. And then you have the other plants that do. Well, with all that spray and all that stuff that builds up on those GMO plants, say it's a windy day, guess what happens to the plants that don't have any of this stuff in them? They get affected by it. So it's a real big issue. It's it's affecting a lot of things, not just one certain thing. So definitely learn about GMOs. I'll definitely have it on my website. I'll send a link to that exact um, places. Uh, everything will be at the link below. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's where I'll be at. Um, follow me on Blogger, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. Um, you know, follow me, and I'll keep in keep in contact. So, so stay healthy, and y'all have a good one.